making sure you got yours, because I got mine. Just Hopefully, you got yours. Because you know I got mine. You don't got to worry about me. I'm just worried about you. Sup. Zo. Oh. Back in high school, I took a mysteries and mythology type class, or something like that. I don't remember the name of the class. It basically just had to do with real life mysteries and creepy shit. I was into that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. I was taking the class with a good friend, who I'll call Ben for this story. The teacher of the class took us on a field trip to a nearby abandoned village with an unknown past. At night? The village was built in the early 1900s, but seems as though it had been quickly abandoned shortly after it was built. The bus ride there was about 20 minutes. All of us were glued to the bus windows as we pulled up some sketchy looking, decrepit road cutting through dense forest. The road eventually led to a clearing. We were there. We stepped out onto the road which had grass growing through the cracks. The grass surrounding was almost knee high. Then there were the buildings. The tall, archaic brick buildings with the boarded up windows all gave off such chilling vibes. The teacher lined all 20 of us up, counted heads, and then began leading the way. The point of this little field trip was to use the so-called skills we learned in class to see if we could put anything together about why the village may have been abandoned so long ago. Some of the buildings had holes in the walls to serve as entryways. But, 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 but why, why do you have to do it at night? It looks like it's at nighttime. You know, Rolla, why, why can't you do it like like during during the day when the sun is out you know and 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 and, and the, the the sky is clear you know it's just nothing but clear blue skies and it's sunny outside like why why can't you just do it during the day that's all i'm saying like why do we have to go at night why do we have to go at night at night like really come on Teacher, you you playing? You you play too much. Just saying, like I'm I'm this close to this close, this close to transferring out of your class. Like you you're you're a good teacher at home, I, You know you you cool peoples, you cool peoples, but you haven't done any BS like this before. So why 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 are we going at night? Just that's please answer that, please. Please, just, I need, I need the answers. I don't understand why we're going at night. We can't, tuh, tuh. yeah, sorry, that was disgusting. I'm, I should have been off camera doing that. But, I'm just saying, like, why can't we just go during the day? Why do we have to go at night? Because if anything pop off, you best believe I'm hauling. And I don't know how to drive no bus, but I I can gar I can assure you, I can guarantee you, I'm gonna learn right then and there. You know, if you're not behind me when I'm kicking rocks, yeah, if you're not on that bus, you sure out of luck. You know, it's just like you said, it's like twenty minutes away. You know. Why do we have to go at night? Why do we have to go at night? You play too much. There were even holes in the ground next to some of the buildings, seemingly dug to get into the basements of some of the buildings, which seemed creepy. There was one building, though. It stood taller than any of the others. It just intrigued me the most. While the teacher was leading the group towards the village church, Ben and I decided to sneak off on our own to look for anything interesting. Ben. We've been friends for, what, 12, 13 years. You just said... Some of the most stupid, you just said the stupidest thing ever. 
the stupidest thing just came out your mouth. Why? Why are we splitting up? No. You know how I am. You know who I am as a person. You know I don't I don't play with no BS. You know I don't like to play no games. You know, you you know I'm I'm not about it. I'm not about it. So why would you suggest that? The fact that you even suggested it lets me know that you playing. You playing with your life and you playing with my life. And you got me all the way clucked up. That clucked is like it's like that effed up. So I'm I'm saying clucked. Um I don't know if that makes any sense, but you got me all the way clucked up right now. So this is where we're going to end um, any relationship that we have. Um, because, yeah, that that's it. Like, when we first met, I said, my name is Gator. Um, and I'm a nice, outgoing guy. Um. Uh, you know, I like to, I like to chill. Um, you know, I like to, I like to play video games and you know, watch movies and not be about that BS. And you just, you, you hit me with this, this. Why? You go ahead, you go ahead, Ben. I'm not, I'm not. You're just as bad as Adam. When we walked off in the direction of the tallest building, we saw a hole in the ground. It was dug by the back door of the building, which had been sealed off. In the hole was a ladder, which led down to the concrete floor below. Nope. We both looked at each other and knew we had to do it. Wow. Ben climbed down first, then me. Luckily, this was just around the time Apple started putting flashlights on their phones, so we had a source of light. It was creepy down there. There were a couple of beer bottles, one graffiti tag on the wall, and dusty wooden planks everywhere. There was a wooden stairway which led up to complete darkness, since all windows and doors had been sealed shut from above. We had already gone as far as to enter the building, so we figured we'd go up the stairs too. I went first, and with each step, the creakiness of the hundred-year-old wood made me feel as if I was going to fall through each and every step. You might even probably then followed are. Soon. This floor of the building was very tight. It seemed like there were many openings going off into different, smaller rooms. It was so dark in there, you would never even guess it was daytime. Oh. Ben and I were honestly starting to get creeped out in there and agreed to go back outside. Then go, go, go. But just then, there was a noise in one of the tiny rooms, like a big rock hitting the concrete floor. A normal instinct would be to run, but Ben and I froze, locked eyes for a moment, then both tiptoed over to the opening of the room. Plain. We shined the lights into the room and ran. We ran back down the stairs and then up the rusty ladder back outside. We caught up to the group out of breath. We didn't say anything, though, to avoid getting in trouble. One of our classmates asked us what was wrong. We told him we snuck into one of the buildings. And in one of the rooms, when we shined the light into it, we saw three guys standing maybe ten feet away from the doorway, facing Ben and I in a weird formation, as if they were waiting for us. Nope, nope, hell no. As we continued following the group, we paid extra attention to the tall building we entered from the distance. And before leaving, we saw a person's face at one of the higher level windows that had not been boarded up. We never told the teacher in fear of getting in trouble. We didn't know what to think. Were those just homeless people living in there? Were they gang members in hiding? Ben freaks me out with his theory. He says they were ghosts of the people who once lived in the town. Still, the way the three guys were just hauntingly standing there so calmly staring at us the moment we peeked our heads through that doorway, 
I still can't get that image out of my head. I may go back to that village one day. What? Why? Just to prove Ben's idea wrong. Prove nothing. You're about to be clucked. You can't. Don't just end it like that. I thought a jump scare was about to happen. Mm. Mm. This is this is why whenever this is why whenever um I I was in school and we did field trips. This is why I always stayed I stayed close to the uh um to the to the kids. Like to This is why I like to stay close to people because I don't like drifting off. I'm not the person to be drifting off and just going about my business. No. I like to stay close to people just in case something pop off. I'm going to go ahead and push you to wherever, you know, wherever the problem is. Because I don't... I don't, I don't, I don't got time. I don't got time for the BS. Like I, like, I just don't. Like, I have too many important things in my life I need to accomplish. And getting clucked up is not one of them. It's not. Mm -mm. Um, yeah, this, yeah, fail trips are, I'm very, very iffy. I have always been iffy about fail trips. Because you always got that one uh, person to, to not listen, not listen to what the teacher says and just, and just goes on about their, that's, that's the person, the person that drifts off and, and, and goes about their business, that's the, that's the same person that gets clucked up, you know, and then comes back for some odd reason. They they find their way back to the group, all clucked up and everything, and you looking all crazy and whatnot. But you can't really explain what happened to you because if you do, you might end up in some serious trouble with the school. Just saying, you should have stayed your ass and with the group. Why are you drifting off? You have no business, no business to be drifting off. Stay with the group. And I be, I do not, do not come at me and say, hey, I'll, we should go over here. Nope, I'm, I'm staying with the, with, the, with the rest of the 25 other kids. Why do we have to, no, that makes no sense at all. You can go ahead. I'm not going. Take Adam with you. You know he be clucking up. But, yeah, I, yeah, like I said, fail trips have always been iffy with me. But, yeah. If you have any fail trip experiences that went totally not what you expected, please let me know down in the comment section below. But, look, as always, keep it cool. Keep it classy and I love you. Stay happy, my family. Leave.